Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is the Daily Telepathy for those of you that identify with the Twin Flame Connection. Uh, since this is general, it's not going to resonate with every Twin Flame out there. So please keep that in mind if you start to feel confused or anything. Um, it's probably not your reading. Uh, I do offer personal reading, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description where it says show more, as well as all the decks I'll be using here today. Uh, most of the items, well, all of the items you see except for the Halloween items. Uh, my Instagram information and the candles will be listed um, below. I am using the Mystery House candle for a manifestation of this uh, reading. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the general energies um, surrounding um, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and their shared energy. And if you hear me say um, he or she, um, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine can be male or female. So just take it how it applies uh, for your situation if it's resonating. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started um, with this reading. This is the um, Oracles of Shadows and Light. This is the energy the masculine is in towards the feminine. And we have number 26. This number could be significant. It's also eight. So this infinity symbol. So we have the three fate so what comes around so this i know this um card talks about destiny and i always forget uh fate and something else let me glance really quick um let me find it 26 i've been making these readings a little longer than i want to so okay so it's just saying it's it's happening again okay so whatever has taken place it's like basically starting to come back around again so let me go ahead and glance through here yeah so something is coming back around again um like a fateful kind of energy like destiny um some type of change um or this uh, masculine could be feeling um in your energy again like something is happening again this is the uh, light seers Carol, so let me see why this is here. Why is it three fates around? What comes around? What is coming around again when it comes to the feminine? Six of swords, a transition. Okay, so something major, some type of transition energy is taking place. Okay, maybe this masculine is wanting to put whatever took place, you know, trouble times behind um, and move forward. But there is some type of energy here because um, this is a card of moving forward. It is a transitioning energy. So this masculine could be starting to feel some type of energy where he's wanting to move forward with the feminine and leave some type of troubled energy behind. So we'll have to see why that is there. Let's go ahead and see the feminine's energy towards the masculine. So we have the three witchy sisters. Okay, so obviously I can't help to notice that there's three and three in here. So this could definitely, um, for some of you, it's going to involve a third party situations. Okay, so there is some type of energy between the two of you guys where something is changing, something is transitioning. So if there was third party uh, factors involving here, um, this could be love, interest, friends, family. There's some type of transitional energy here. So we have the power of three. Also, we have nine here. So this is the feminist energy is in some type of um, near the completion of a cycle. But she could be focused on this um, energy of this third party factor. So I'm going to glance also in there to see what that one is about. Whoops, I'm glad I opened right up to it. So it says something that has just happened will happen twice and three times. Something that has already happened twice will happen one more time. And something that has happened three times is now complete. 
finished farewell finally by the three who are in charge of these strands of fate that repeat in threes till the lesson is learned. Wow. Okay. So what I'm getting here, because we have this fate energy between the both of them, is something is about to change again. So like, so for some of you, if you've already gone through this twice, it's about to happen again. Uh, but if you happened, if it only happened once, it's going to happen two more times. But if it happened three times, then that is going to be the uh, end of it. Okay. So that's kind of what the feminine um, energy is in. So it's an interesting energy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what their shared energy is. We have Angel de los Muertos. So this has to do with death, transitioning. So we see transitioning, transitions to the spirit, spirit realm. So there's some type of major transformation going on in the connection with the feminine and the masculine, some type of transition energy. Some um, sometimes this could have to do with somebody that passed on in the in the, the past, you know, you know, a family member or, you know, someone could be helping this connection as well from the other side, um, assisting the connection. But there is some type of energy where something is ending, something is transitioning in the connection um, is destined. It is faded. OK, so let me see what this transition uh, could be about transition be about because they're both sharing this energy okay I'm gonna do that again because it didn't feel right eight of swords out of this trapped energy okay being in a mental prison so this is coming to an end <clears throat> with the masculine and the feminine there's some type of in some type of transition of being trapped in fear so some of those that are trapped in a third party situation that is coming to an end so whether that is the masculine or the feminine masculine is ending some type of uh feeling trapped and bound energy and uh, so is the feminine okay so something is ending some this will have to do with other people and this could be just our own uh fears and mental prison just but it's an end of fears um, it's happening and the connection is what I'm getting. Okay. So this is my twin flame messages. Um, this is available below. If you live in the United States, you can order from my site or my Etsy shop. Uh, but if you're international interested in any of my decks, please send me an email below and I will send you a link to order. So let's get five messages from the masculine to the feminine. I heard a song today and it was you speaking to me. So this song could be causing some type of, um, uh, transitional energy or this song may be about a transition that's taking place with the masculine so pay attention to any kind of songs that you might be hearing too but this masculine some type of song is uh speaking uh to um this masculine so your smile lights up my world so this masculine is uh realizes you know how much um, happiness and joy that you bring uh, towards them. Maybe he wants to transition out of this feeling trapped uh, energy that he's been in. Actually, the both you guys have been in. Yeah, see karmic partner issues. So there's some type of energy possibly where this karmic partner issues are uh, cycling out, closing up some type of chapter when it comes to fear. Um, yeah, okay. So let's get two more. Your intuition is right. So when I get this card, this tells me whatever um, I was thinking. Like I said, it's like the Ace of Swords card for me. <laughs> um, that this is true as to what's taking place. So for some of you out there in collective, um, also whatever you were thinking, this is telling you that your intuition is um, correct. Okay, it is right. I love everything about you. So your person is, um, they love everything about you. I, I feel like also they're realizing that you were right also around a karmic partner issue that they were going to maintain, be in a level of feeling trapped. Um, like it's just going to keep cycling and keep coming back around. Like it's not going to end until they do something to like put an end to it till they close a chapter. So let's go ahead and see what this song, um, 
might have been about that was speaking to uh, the masculine here. Okay, so this is my situations deck, also available below. See, it'll tell me more about this. I heard a song today and it was you speaking to me. A realization, okay? Awareness, find out, coming to light. So the songs could have to do with any of these topics here. Um, it could be a song that um, gave this masculine a realization that he needs to um, transition out of this energy and move forward. But something, um, something came to the light with this song. Like it, it was, I feel like it was a trigger, okay? So your smile lights up my world and see what this one is about. So we have crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. So I'm getting two messages here that this masculine wants to close a chapter on this energy of feeling crushed, possibly feeling sad, feeling broken, uh, alone, wanting to go towards this happiness, wanting to go to this energy, transitioning out of that energy, okay? Um, possibly missing you, most likely missing you. So this is my mystery house stack, also available below. So let's go ahead and see what these karmic partner issues are about. A bugaboo. <laughs> it always makes me laugh when I see this card. Someone clingy, irritating, uh, blowing up your phone. So this person could be trying to hold on, not wanting to let go. Um, not wanting to transition out of this uh, energy that could be like blowing up this person's phone. Maybe they're tired of that. Maybe they're like wanting to know their every whereabouts, where they're at, what they're doing, you know, all, you know, kind of energy like that. So let's go ahead and get another energy around this. Your intuition is right. Verge about to reveal confess so if you're thinking that this masculine is getting ready to confess this is what's about to happen he's about to reveal about to confess something okay could be about to confess this to this um person that's a bugaboo to him whoever this karmic partner is um yeah but so if you're thinking he's about to reveal something about to confess that's what's going to take place and um i will look more into this energy in the extended reading so yeah there will be um, an extended, I forgot to say that in the beginning. So, um, that will, uh, that link is going to be below, but I'll look further into these energies into the extended about the karmic partner and what, um, what is about to be confessed. Okay. So let's get some more energy behind this. I love everything about you. Desire. Lust sexual chemistry so this person realized like how much desire they have for you um it's just a, a sexual chemistry that they just you know cannot deny okay they just they can't deny this energy it just keeps coming back around like it that's what's happening it keeps coming back around it keeps cycling again you may be aware of this you you may be sensing this that this is going to take place that something is ending but somebody is ending this trapped energy fear not someone the both of you are ending that energy and we have seven eight and nine i just realized too so there's definitely a moving forward there's a transition energy and we have um yeah two eights two eights as well okay so this is affinity this is something that is coming back around um as well um what is what i'm sensing here okay all right, you guys, so I'm going to look at the bottom of these cards and I'm going to go over to the extended. So again, if you want to join me over there, that link is going to be below. So we have autumn is my last chance. OK, so someone may be feeling like this is their last chance, you know, to do this. OK, um, the autumn season is pretty much what we're in right now. And um, this could have happened before in the past or in some type of when this took place. Um, or this is what's going to take place now. So this masculine is feeling like this is his last chance to move forward. Okay. So he's starting to lose hope. And again, we have another number six here. So this definitely is about some type of balance. 
And then we have roller coaster. So this high is high, this adrenaline rush. So I feel like this is something that um, this masculine just, you know, cannot deny. And it's it just because it's that that high that you just, you know, you get when you are on a roller coaster. So it's coming back around kind of like how the roller coaster energy, this this feeling is starting to come back around. And then here we go with this. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So this could be the masculine energy or the feminine. This is about stability. This is about uh, finances. This is about commitment. But this person looks very secure. OK, they look very stable when it comes to um, this energy. Um, this is also about commitment. This could be somebody that's tied to uh, a marriage um, as well. So let's get another card here. So haunted stairs ascending to a higher level. So there's some type of ascension going. We have that high here um, here twice. So something is definitely moving forward to a higher level. So we have I'm pretending not to care. So this is um, I feel like this is the masculine energy is ascending out of this energy of pretending not to care because you see how she's like, I don't got to care in the world. I got my money. I got my stuff. I'm good. So I feel like this is a level of ascending out of this energy. OK. All right, you guys. So if that resonated with you, please like comment, share. If you knew, uh, please subscribe. So. Again, I offer a personal reading. So if you want to book one of those with me, that's going to be below. So you guys have a wonderful day or night, um, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love and light.